Oh, here's the chat. Now the chat. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry I'm late, guys. It was, uh, this is, this is my first broadcast, okay? I'm working on it. Okay, hi. Welcome. That's what I'm supposed to say. It says that on the screen. Um, so let me start off, guys. Can you hear me? I hope you can. All right, let's see here. We got to check the audience here. Oh, people are coming in. All right, all right, they're working. I like it. <clears throat> let's see here. All right, we're in. There we go. Hi, guys. Oh, good. You can hear me. Excellent. Oh, see, here comes all the questions, Brian. This is my friend Brian. He's going to be joining me Hi guys, for how are this you? you Now broadcast. Uh, I'm excited. It's my first one. We're going to be doing this at least weekly. Um, i got a lot to say about a lot of different things. Uh, <laughs> and, okay. I'm just reading some of these questions, that's all. Hey, that's fun. I know, right? No. Yep. Um, yeah, so anyway... Uh, Brian is a good friend of mine. He's been a friend of mine for a long time. We're actually working on some fitness projects together, which you're going to be able to check out soon. Uh, we're going to do some fitness question stuff going forward, too. I know all of you want to ask about the show a lot today, though. So we'll, we'll talk about that. Oh, it's trending. It says it's now trending on something. I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm Someone says they can't hear anything. So Oh, you can't. Can you guys hear or not? Because if you can't hear, I will adjust the volume. We're working out all the kinks here. So here's the volume. Don't mute it. Oh, here we go. I, I raised it. Can you hear better? Yes? Yes. I Now I can. Oh, okay, good. Go. It worked. Thank you. Okay, so let's see here, guys. Have you ever checked Joker's house guest ratings? Uh, yeah, I have. So have I. The, every day the entire season. Literally. Yeah, yeah it wasn't good. I, I didn't like that. You know, it sucked. But, you know, it happens. You can't win them all. The way I looked at it was, you know... The Oz twins were the evil empire for a while there, and the three of them, four, if you want to include in Beth, uh, Vanessa, who wasn't loved yeah. per se, were uh, in charge of a lot of moves that were being made, and loved ones like James and Meg, who are the sweetest people in the world, uh, they, were, they were falling, and people did love that alliance, so that's the way it played out. Yeah, it was, uh, it was tough. Uh, let's see here. When is Liz coming to see you? Uh, Liz is coming on Thursday of this week, um, and then we're going to try to do one of these together, I think. She's in right now. She's in the Keys. Yeah, she's in the Keys right now. Her, yeah. So, And Julia's going to be here as well, so the three of us are going to try to jump in and, and do one of these things. But it should be pretty interesting, um, or at least it'll be entertaining. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see. Are you looking forward to seeing Liz? Yes, of course I'm looking forward to seeing Liz. Why, why wouldn't I? Let's see here. Have I talked to Julia about her doubting me all season? Um, I mean, it's a good question. I, mean, a, I don't. You, yeah, yeah, we've talked a lot. I mean, Julia and I talked in the first off. We talked in the jury house. We talked before she left the house, and we were on the same page. And um, you know, we were, became really tight in the jury house, and now going forward, we're very close. So we're good. And I think. I think the way that thing blew up on on the way they showed it on the show with Jason and him when he went to try and make that move with Jason, Jason made uh, Jason had a great personality. People loved him at the time, big time, and uh, he was very funny. He involved all the house guests, and so when Austin yeah. went to approach him with that kind of a thing, he uh, he kind of erupted and went around to every single room and blew Austin up about it. And it wasn't even really a big deal. I mean, it wasn't like Austin was saying, "I want Julia out no matter what." That wasn't the case, but that's the way it played out. With Vanessa at the helm, she she made it all a million times worse. So there's no real true hard feelings, but the show made it look that way. Yeah. I don't know it means to accept that. That's funny. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, team, <laughs> I'm pressing buttons on this. I'm learning the you now technique, guys. This is intense. Uh, let's see. What else do you guys got for me here? Uh, hey, Austin. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. Oh, Kirsten Storm's lover. Oh, that's excellent. She is great. One of my favorite actresses. Oh, Sierra. She wanted to go on. She wanted to do this. Oh, please, guys. There's a lot of joking. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Did I get to see goodbye messages in jury? Yes, I did. I got to see them. Um, and they were nice. I mean, I don't know. People are still in the game when they're sending goodbye messages, so you can't put too much into that. But as far as me watching the show, I have not yet watched the show back. I mean, people have told me things about everything. What they What's got? that one? How do you feel about BB Scandal? I don't know what... There's a lot of BB Scandal. I don't know what that is. Is that a site? Uh, Brian knows the deal. That's awesome. Oh, I can accept that as well. Yeah, uh, I'm going to accept these things. I don't know what that means, but I'm accepting them. 
Okay, let's see here. Do we have any other good questions here? You do realize I'm going to have to lie to you all season long, right? Um, did she? <laughs> yeah, I filled him in the yeah. second he got out. I literally laid it out. Yeah, yeah he laid kid. out everything to me hardcore. I hit him hard. I he mean, hit I've, hard. I've known him for 14 years, and yeah. the second he got out, I took him aside, and it took me a week and a half to think about the best way to deliver it to him. But uh, usually, the best way is being straightforward. Um, yeah, and I'm planning to go see Vanessa in Vegas. I, I want to be friends. I mean, once the show's over, guys, like it, it kind of goes away. Like you're competitive in there, and you want to win. And when you lose. It's, if you're a competitive person, it sucks. But as soon as it's over, it's over, and there's no point, I don't think, why we can't all be friends. I mean, and, I, I enjoyed everybody in there. And as his, as his close friend, and seeing Vanessa, you know, lop his head off from behind, literally, uh, uh, I told him he should still contact her. Because I'll tell you one thing about Vanessa, as much as I lit her up on that disgust message board, I also supported her game moves. I mean, she was, she's, in, she's hyper intelligent hands down hyper intelligent girl and I told him uh, you should stay friends friendly with someone like that because like minds need to um, in regard to levels of creativity stick together and have boardroom sessions like they did on the show they can come up with some great ideas together exactly so and we did have some fun in there at times before things got stressful well in between all the stress because there was a lot of stress uh, all the time <laughs> all the time it was bad Let's see, how do you feel about Liz winning second place? Uh, well, I'm proud that she made it to second. Um, I was really worried when I left that she would be the next one to go. But, you know, she made it all the way down to the second place, which is awesome. Um, well, she got first, obviously. So, uh, uh. so is Vanessa never owned her game? Oh, that was what Jason said in the finale. Well, the thing about that is, for someone who's so smart, mm -hmm. and this is the thing that, that, that got me about Vanessa, if you're that smart, and I, I believe she is, you don't need to do all the things that she did uh, in order to win. In fact, it's more difficult to defeat somebody honestly than it is dishonestly. Yes. It, there's a trick to it. There's an art to it. And you're loved more for being able to do that. And a lot of people succeed that way. So seeing her not use those abilities or choose to go to the dark side to win, I didn't like her for that. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. What else we got? Um, okay. Oh, I love... Why am I selling some of the BB-17 memorabilia? Well, I think everyone's going to be selling some things, but there's a few things I want to sell because I really just want to give my family some money. Like they supported me through this, and I really wanted to win the thing for them. But um, ultimately, I didn't, and um, they I, I promised them all something. So I'm going to put like one item up for each one of them. I got a big family, and then the rest I'll probably keep. Um, yeah, let's see here. She feels so what I feel about all the hate you got, Pat. Feels you, you know. Oh, thank you, thank you. Let's see here. If Liz wasn't in the picture, your number one. If Liz wasn't in the picture, was Vanessa my number one? Well, I guess so. Yeah. It's a good she, question. Yeah, you know, the thing about that is that I don't. I mean, you can't look back at kind of things like that because there was a lot of things that had to happen for me to get to that point, and I needed to be with Liz and Julia to to have my strong point in the house and to make it so far, and. Who knows if it was just me and Vanessa working together, how long that would have lasted. Uh, clearly, Vanessa was making deals I didn't know about with other people, and she might have needed to cut me earlier. But I had a power position with the twins, so it kind of worked out. I don't know if you can take that apart. Some, uh, someone stated that you stopped playing the game be, for the money, and you did make that comment early on. And it was something I was pissed about, Yeah, personally as his friend, because he was interested in Liz. It was apparent. And yeah. I wasn't sure how that was going to play out, uh -huh. nor were any of you, I'm sure. But there was a point in the game where he stated clearly that he was not going to give up the money for Liz. And that was later on in the show. And that was good. And neither of them ever argued about it. Yeah, They were both on the same page about that. And that's respect. Well, and the thing is, early on in the game, this is always my theory when I tell people advice, is that you can't be playing for the finals. You can't think week two, how am I going to get to the finals? It's too far, too far ahead. And I remember some people were saying, oh, in the house, they were like, I don't want to play for jury. I want to play to win. I want to play to win all. But if you're playing that fast in week two, something's going to go wrong in week three. So I was playing week to week until I could start looking further down. And that wasn't until later when I could start looking further. So and a girl said it sounded like yeah. strategy and that's smart. And it was strategy. And you know, I would tell people things like, you know, I just wanted to make jury. I just want to do that. But come on, guys. I've been what's the other? Sorry. Oh God. Uh, but come on, guys. I've been like you know watching it since season one, and 
there, there's things I wanted to do. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go at jury. I didn't want to go first in jury, second in jury. I wanted to keep going. And I was getting further, you know, until I, you know, until Vanessa got me. Mel Melissa, the hopeless romantic, mm -hmm. was asking if, uh, you know, about your and Liz's future. Um, it's a beautiful yes. thought, you know, it really is. Yeah. It's, it, the, the relationship itself, watching it, you know, think about Austin being your friend and you seeing him get hammered, you know, by the media for the first. Oh, wait, we got Brittany QT on Twitter. She's an Irish Spring sponsor. I love that. Okay, wait, yeah, sorry, go back. No, okay. that's okay. That okay, was a, yeah, big, a yeah. big thing on Pop TV. Yeah, yeah. Um, I lost my thought on that one. Oh, what were you saying? Oh, I was saying watching the relationship develop, oh, the, the, though, uh -huh. actually, you know, facing facing the insult, taking it on like a man, you know, and then yeah. pers pursuing, pursuing something that you're passionate about, being open and honest, and watching that develop with Liz was pretty awesome. It really was. It, it, it felt awesome, too. I really enjoyed that time with her. In the house, you know, she made that experience enjoyable. Otherwise, it was a lot of stress at all times. So we helped each other get through it, and it felt good. Um, so I'm glad I'm glad I met her for that for sure. Sorry, what is it? Ha ha ha. Okay. Do we think we're gonna get married, guys? Let's get some time outside of the house to to enjoy each other first. Okay, that's you guys always want to think final too. I told you we got to take it week by week. We love Julia too. Yeah. She's hilarious, like in person. Yes. Hysterical. She's great. And she was underrated in how important she was in our alliance. I think. I, she really made a big difference socially. <laughs> What's your omelet recipe? My omelet recipe. I don't. You got to use those those eggs that you pour in from the, the egg whites and a couple eggs. Then it fluffs up real good. Yeah, she did form a final two with Steve early on, Vanessa, and when she did that, formed that alliance with the three. As a viewer, you're pissed because you think that everybody should know what's going on, but we can't know. You know, you think about vibes, think about Bob Marley, all his music, and yeah. about the vibes that you pick up when you're around people. We don't see that watching through the screen. So we don't know what's going on. Yeah, exactly. Ultimately. Oh, come on, guys. What was it? <laughs> was I surprised about people hating me? Um, yeah. That's honest. That was surprised people hating me. I mean, I can see why now that I look at some of the stuff and how it was interpreted. Um, I feel, you know, kind of misunderstood in some things that I did. I understand other reasons why people would have disliked me, but ultimately, I, you know, I had good intentions. So, people are entitled to love or hate as long as they're not indifferent. So, something. Let's see here. What do we got? Yeah, who wants to be hated? Yeah, exactly. No one really. Someone right. said, yeah, they sent you fan mail. So thanks. Oh, uh, fan mail. Thank you. I'm gonna go check the PO box. I think on Monday. So I'll see if I get that. Will you watch every episode? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna make him watch every single one tonight. Oh, God, I'm his friend, by the way. Keep asking. Oh yeah, this is my good friend. He's we've worked out together for years. Um, we're we're starting some fitness um, ideas together. Stay tuned for that. Obviously, I'll have you know Twitter and Instagram updates. It's gonna be real good. Austin's workout plan. Do you think you would have beat Vanessa in final two? Um, I don't know. It depends on you know what the jury was thinking. When I got to the jury, everyone was saying they were kind of rooting for me to get there. Um, they wanted to vote against Vanessa, so it was nice to hear that. But who knows how it would have played out? I mean, if she won all the competitions down the stretch and took me and was loyal to me, then that could have been a great argument in her favor to beat me. So she might have beat me. I think she should have given it a shot though, and uh, not you know you know screwed me over. But whatever. Let's see here. No. Oh boy. Let's see. No, oh, you guys are so you guys are being kind. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's nice to see that. Um, what else do we got? These questions is coming so quick. Did Liz dye her hair? Um, she darkened it a little bit. I think it looks really good. Let's see what, what do you got here? I got your humor, Austin. Thank you. I'm gonna try to be sarcastic. Sometimes it's uh, hard to read. Uh, what else do we have? Show. Who I've been in contact with post show? Well, actually, I just had a nice little conversation with uh, Steve. He's very sneaky on his Facebook up late at night, of course, <laughs> pacing around Facebook. And we had a good conversation about stuff. Uh, so I was happy to do that. Talked to a lot of past house guests. I was real excited to actually talk to Howie from Big Brother 7 because he was one of my favorites. And he was supportive of me, which is really cool. So I've enjoyed that. Uh, and then I talked to Megan James a lot. Um, we're friends. And I've kind of talked to almost everybody in the cast. Jace is going to be out in L.A. you know next week, so you know we're going to hang out. It's um, 
So it's good. Most people I've been talking to. Van- no that, that moment where Vanessa told him about the twins, that was hysterical, by the way. That was that was funny. Also, the, the second funniest moment, I think, was when... Uh, well... Uh-oh. No, it was the reaction to the... Uh, the, the, when Julia did the thing, the, they cut, they edited that differently from the way it happened, though, with the uh, the Freud joke that happened. It was all cut wrong, so it made it look funny. But his reaction. Oh was yeah, hysterical. I wasn't sitting when she did the Sigmund Freud joke. I wasn't sitting at the table. I was like walking from the purple room. That was weird. I don't know. So uh, that was a reaction to something else. I think. Do I like Dr. Will? Oh, I love Dr. Will. When I was sitting at the round table, you know, they, they only show a little bit, but I was going nuts trying to throw out all his lines from Big Brother 7, and he was laughing. It was great. That was a thrill to sit there with him. I had a lot of fun with that. Uh, do I miss the beard ponytail? I don't miss the beard ponytail, but I keep going like this thinking it's going to be here, and it's not. So it was time. It was time to get rid of it. Did you ever play again? I'd play again if Liz played with me. It would be hard to play by myself again. That was It was a lot. It's a lot to build up to to go in there. And um, I don't know. It, I need some time away from it before I can start wanting to do it again. People keep asking about Amanda Zuckerman. I talked to Amanda Zuckerman. She's been a supporter of me. We, we, we talked a lot, actually. She's really cool. And um, I'm glad she's reached out to me and uh, been friends with me. It's, it's been nice. It is difficult for him to be without Liz 24-7. I mean, they only mm-hmm. had yeah. one day together, and then she shot off to Miami. So imagine that. You're 90 days with someone a day in the free world and then on a plane yes it's it's not it's it's difficult but we're gonna get to be reunited soon which i'm looking forward to <laughs> did you hear what called this crazy answer that's a okay. tough one yeah yeah but i let's know. Avoid that. know yeah let's avoid that are you mad at jeff lol um no jeff and i talked at the finale we're cool everything's fine uh, so uh there's there's no hard feelings there at all mm-hmm. oh, good go. uh oh uh, 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 uh. I'm glad someone understood when production would call me and I'd go, what? That it was all in fun. Am I switching to Young and Restless now? <laughs> What's Lucha Underground? Oh, Lucha Underground is the wrestling that uh, Big Brother, there's some similar producers in that, and I would definitely like to do Lucha Underground wrestling. That's the one uh, John Morrison does, Johnny Mundo. Mm. And I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm looking into that right now, guys, so stay tuned on that. Uh, Don't watch Jeff's Periscope, Austin. Why? Don't watch Jeff's Periscope, Austin. Uh oh. It was hilarious. Well, Jeff's kind of a goofy guy. Okay. I mean, and that whole scene, they made a big deal about it with the 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 busting in the room kind of thing, but which was also it, not a big deal. Yeah. It was kind of played up as bigger than it was. Um, but that's you know, part of. Besides, the deal. she's a girl. And she's a pretty girl. Everybody's gonna try to get at the pretty girl, right? It's not pop ball. It's pot ball, and that's better than sling band. Uh, can you, Liz and Julia, do a New Jersey meet and greet thing? Yes, if they hire us. Do we go camping? Oh, I'm. I don't mean to make Jeff upset. Sorry, you know. I like to. Sometimes I like to mess around, and be sarcastic. He called me names too, so I think we're cool now. You guys were cool at the rap party. Yeah, we were very cool at the rap party. Yeah. Actually, everybody was cool at the rap party. Everybody was just happy to be released. Was I mad? Yeah, was I mad when Zingbot zinged you? No, I just like to play up the mad thing because it's funny and it makes me look funny. I don't know. I like to make fun of myself. Um, the the circumstance was extraordinary. It was kind of crazy. Hands down. Yeah. So the one it bothered me when they did the one to Liz though a little bit. Like, yeah. I, I didn't like that. That's but, high drama. I mean, yeah, how... they, were, they were trying to stir it up for sure, but that's part of it. You know, I understand. That's what happens when you get into this thing. Some nice things. I have a MGMT. MGMT is everything. Faded to pretend. Ha ha. I say. Uh, oh boy, easy. Oh god, you guys are too much with some of these questions. What's my favorite ice cream? Is that a trick question? Mint chip. <laughs> have you uh, talked to Johnny? Uh, Johnny Mac. Yeah. Yes, I've talked to him a lot. Like we are, we text back and forth. A lot usually. Stand it. Usually one-liners, you know. That's it. Everybody much. has so many different opinions. It's kind of cool I to know. see. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Did you hear the wall shouter? No, I didn't hear that when they did the megaphone thing. But I guess people really took it as something. I don't think it affected anything ultimately. I wish he had heard it. Yeah. I mean, the guy said that Vanessa's got deals with everybody. 
But it said I had deals with everyone too, right? No, it's oh. a, from what I heard, it was that the guy said Vanessa has deals with everybody in America and wants Julia out. Those are the only two things that I, I heard. Ooh, that's a question for you. What do you think my biggest move in the game was? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. I think it upset me the most, but it was his best move was when Vanessa was going to backdoor him and he straight up had to humble himself and kiss her ass and go in there and basically play to her strengths. She likes to be confident and in control and for, for him to let her know that he would be, quote, willing to do whatever she needed him to do was a smart move because it kept him under her blanket for a while. Um, that's one of them. Mm -hmm. I was pissed he did it, but I, it worked. I didn't like doing it either. Jeez. I was it, trying did, to... it did save him. I, I hated the moment too, but he yeah. he really went all out. He sold it out. And, and the thing with that was, is like Vanessa's very logical and she needs things to, to play in line. So I knew if I told her one thing, it had to match up with things she already knew about me to be true. And um, so I knew like for me, this romance historian, I needed to tell her some stuff that made her think, oh, he's just a stupid romantic. He's an idiot. Okay, let's save him now. He's not some big Judas mastermind. And it kind of worked, for, at least for the time being. And then I was able to, you know, say the same things to Clay and Shelley. And next thing you know, I'm staying. I was like, I cannot believe I'm staying right now. And there's truth to it. I mean, yeah. you are romantic, but it, and it, it got you in a lot of trouble. It gets most of us in trouble, right? Yeah. But, um, well, yeah, it got me in trouble. I know. Halloween plans? Not yet, but I'm open. We'll see. Let's see here. Also, you be hanging with Jace. Yeah, I'm gonna hang with him probably as soon as he gets out to L.A. Awesome. Would you have ever put Vanessa up as HOH? Yeah, I was really considering it the week I was HOH. And if she didn't win that veto on the face morph, I might have done that. I don't know. I didn't want to, but I just was at the point where I almost had to, I thought, if she didn't win that. But she won it, and then we were fine. Um, so that was that. Let's see here. Was that the week you said someone tell me what to do? Yeah, I needed some help. And that was the week I didn't want to win HOH, but I had a bad gut feeling about throwing it. And uh, I think it, I think it ended up working out, even though Johnny Mac came right back in the house. It's just one of those weeks where you just didn't know. So, you know, the, D Flamingo says that Vanessa was uh, so manipulative. He doesn't mm -hmm. even know. He knows. Believe me. Um, no, I know, and I don't think it was. I, she definitely did her her thing. Um, I don't know. It just like when you're in there, it doesn't it doesn't matter that much. Like everything is more heightened when you're watching it and you're getting worked up as an audience. But when you're in there, you just start going, "Okay, look, I'm just living my. I got to live my life and not let. Otherwise, you're going to be up 24 hours a day, stressed out of your mind, throwing up. Like if you if you don't calm yourself down, just go whatever. Sometimes, sometimes you got to go whatever. I'm just going to go with it. And it didn't always pay off. It didn't pay off in the end, but it gets you through the weeks. And you have to do something to get through that time in there. It's not easy. James would have put him up, and I literally was out here like trying to scream out to the universe, saying, "Hey, man, take him, take James down," and they ended up doing that. But um, Vanessa needed to go too at that time, so it was really difficult. Yeah, that was a tough double eviction day because um, we don't know what to do there. Um, but again, can only look back. He he is very smart, by the way. I you know, and that's one thing watching the show as his friend. I took solace in because as everybody in the world practically was bashing on a lot of things that were happening uh, I was I was able to say you know at least I know this guy's got a brain on his shoulders and he's in there work. Know, sometimes well I mean as far as intelligence goes as far as street smarts goes there, there are many different types of intelligence <clears throat> but yeah. that one I knew would help you and you made friends with the right people mm -hmm. yeah exactly um, let's see here. What else do we got? I know a lot of people don't think that because James and Meg were so loved, but he yeah. was actually very close with James and Meg. Still are. Um, would I do the All Stars again? It, I, I don't know yet. It's right now so you're just getting out of there. It's like, ugh. Did the you idea think they, of going back in. Did you think they would have both taken Liz at the end? Um, yeah, I did. I think that they both kind of felt like they didn't want to take each other because uh, I, I think Vanessa had a feeling like she took Steve. She might lose to him. Um, actually, I don't know what Vanessa is really thinking. I, I'm not sure why. I would think that the the thing that they were trying to sell in the house was that oh, Liz is such a threat at the end because she's going to have you know, probably you know her sister's definitely a vote, and then if I'm in jury, I'm a vote. But it's only two votes, so I don't know if that's more of a they're thinking well maybe we can manipulate the situation and beat her in the end if we uh, take her 
but I don't know. That was that was interesting. I don't know why. Because would Steve have beaten Vanessa? You think in the final two? I don't. I don't, I don't know. I think it would have come so. down to their speeches. Really, who could sell the jury at that point? I don't. I don't think Steve would have beaten her. I, I think it depends on what influence you would have had. You know, against yeah. Vanessa, whatever that counted for, we don't. We'll never know. Yeah. And also, um, but everybody was pulling strongly for the fact that you played such an insane game. My favorite Oliver Arnold song is "Old Skin." Guys, come on, it's amazing. Okay. Um, he and Vanessa did make peace, and they're actually going to hang out in Vegas together. So. Yeah. Did your family watch the feeds? Uh, yeah, they did, and I think they 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 were getting too stressed out after my Jason week, where I almost got you know backdoored, and it was hard for them to watch. It's really hard to watch when you know someone's in there, and you just want to yell to them, and you can't do it. Uh, I'm giving your vote to Steve or Vanessa. Well, if it came down to Steve and Vanessa, I honestly would have hurt them out at that point. Um, I was ready to do something crazy because I like to build things up, and I know everyone would think there's no way he votes for Vanessa. And I might just have done that. Um, I definitely think Steve had some strong arguments against her too, though, and I wanted to hear him make those. So if that came down to it, it would have been interesting. He did. He did see uh, Becky and Johnny Mac in Pennsylvania on their, uh, on their thing, canoeing yeah. and doing all that. Yeah, glad they're having fun. Becky's cool. Let's see here. Uh, as Clay can give you a shout out. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. He should come on. Who else is taking his music into the Big Brother house? That's a, that's a lot. Uh, let's see here. Did um, you ever cut your hair? Yeah, you're going to cut would it. Would I ever out. cut my hair? Um, that's a good question. I don't want to. I like my long hair. I'll trim it. My sister needs to trim it for me. i got to do that in the next couple of days. She's a hairstylist. Um, let's see here. Uh, you wish this had gone up on the block the week you got evicted. Well, that's one of those questions that's, um, you know, obviously I want to stay, right? But at the same time, we both thought we were going to be pawns in that situation, so I, I was fine with being the pawn however I went home. I don't know if, if, if I had made an argument to, to put Liz up, I feel like that this would have been bad all around. Ask them what they think about you and Liz's relationship. Why? Oh, because they keep asking if you're going to go visit her in Miami and stuff yeah. like that. Oh. Uh, am I gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I plan on going to Miami as well. i um, hoping she moves out here sooner than later, though. Long hair, don't care. Yeah, exactly. Right? Let's see here. Was it hard to sleep in the house? Was it hard to sleep in the house? Yeah. Yeah, it was very hard. Um, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Sleeping in the house is difficult because you have to wake up when they make you wake up in the morning. They, they blare things over that loudspeaker all the time. The lighting is studio lighting. Um, it's tough. And you're always thinking a million miles a, a, you know, a minute there about everything. It's hard to shut it down. Let's see here. Did, yeah, it did help with Liz sleeping in bed with me. That was nice. Yeah. Or Julia, are they moving to LA? I hope so. Who is my favorite WWE diva right now? It's a good question. Um, there's a lot of good ones out there. What's a question about um, I was always a good uh, friend of Paige, though. You're allowed to talk about Bill Dumont. Uh, no, no, I can't talk about that, guys, unfortunately. Let's see here. Amongst the crazies. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm invisible amongst the crazies in here. No, you're not. Talk. Ask me another question. I'll try to catch it. It just goes so quick, guys. Does Liz know? Oh, Jesus. I'm not a wrestler, no. Okay, let's see here. Um, what do you think of Eva Marie? Uh, I met her once. She was nice. Okay, ah. Would you wrestle Mr. Spectacular? Absolutely. Oh, God. Uh, how is Liz? Uh, she's doing well. Uh, let's see here. Why did you say about your Vanessa Trencher at the jury round table. Dude, why did you say what you said about yours? Well, here's the thing. They, they cut. <laughs> they took one little thing I said at that round table. Um, but, again, I'm sitting there with Dr. Will. I got the top hat on. I'm trying to be provocative and funny. So I, I'm in the mode. Uh, but Vanessa and I, you know, at some points we had a real friendship. But you got to remember, too, that jury round table was, like, literally two days after I got blindsided and it still hurt pretty bad. And I was still very confused about what was all happening and I didn't know who was doing what so yeah I was absolutely disappointed and I was angry um, but you know I, I was trying to make arguments and I told Dr. Will there too I was gonna make arguments objectively about everyone and I'm fine with making that but I think I can make an argument I think I'm creative enough to make an argument for Steve to win for Liz to win against anyone make an argument for Vanessa to win too I thought I could do it um, and I think I had some good ones and I think they each had good arguments to win that's a good question when did I start falling for Liz mm -hmm. 
Um, that is a good question. I always felt like as soon as um, I met Liz, I felt in some kind of connection with her, and you know, it developed slowly. Like we were friends, and um, she was after Jace went, she was my only friend, and I was very afraid that she was going to find other friends in the house, and she was the one person I needed to be aligned with because I had no one else. And Vanessa. And me, we were together, but I wasn't sure about her social game at first because she was crying when the live feeds came on. I was like, I need Liz to stay with me. And I saw Jeff talking to her, um, and I'm like, oh shit, I know she has something going on with Dave Vaughn too, maybe, I don't know. So it was like, I wanted to stay as close to her as possible those first few weeks and solidify that. But as we got to know each other, as I found out about Julia, I felt stronger and stronger about her. And finally, when they both came in the house, we could you know, start to explore stuff. Who do you compare yourself to mm -hmm. um, your gameplay to in the past, your personal gameplay? Um, who do I compare my gameplay to in the past? That's a good question. I don't, actually, no one's asked me that one. Um, it is a good one. I, I don't know. I wasn't trying to model my gameplay after anyone. I think every season's unique and you have to take the social relationships that are developing and forming around you and mold and adapt as you go. I know people compared my, my move in week five to like Dan, you know, when I begged and for my life when he did some of that stuff um, but it's not the same he, you know he's a different player oh god what <laughs> it's crazy to think that you were the third wheel to Liz in the beginning of the game how do you answer that I mean that's one where people it can yeah. go either way and it doesn't matter to him or them yeah it's the beginning everyone's got their strategy everyone's playing there's cameras we're still playing to the cameras for about three or four weeks until we relax and forget you know that it's cameras so it's like it takes time to, to get to know people and trust people. So uh, anything that happens early on in the game doesn't matter to me. Anything that happens in the game really is just a game. Ultimately, you have to look at it like that or else you're going to go crazy. What's that? I, I wouldn't know how you'd answer that. What? It's an interesting one. What's that? I missed it. Mm -hmm. Is Johnny Mac following your workouts? He better be. Uh, he did He did tweet you from the gym Yeah, the other he did. Day. That was cool. I got to send him some workouts, though. I'm being lazy. Have you seen Big Brother 16? Because you were supposed to be on that one. Oh, yeah, I know. That cat's out of the bag. No, I haven't watched it. Guys, I'm kind of big brothered out right now. The three-headed monster was hilarious. I envisioned him with these two little viper snakes coming off his shoulders and the girls, and it cracked me up. Honestly, as America's hating the Oz twins, I'm sitting there going, this is a brilliant villain. You know, I mean, if that's the way it's going to play, make it work. Yes, exactly. Um, let's see here. Why not? Why don't you answer emails? Um, I do answer emails, but I get a lot, so just keep sending me them if you want me to answer. It was a formidable alliance also. And the, the interesting thing, you can hate as much as you want on the whole season, how it played out, and who, lo look, everybody's gonna love who they're gonna love, you know? And I love him, but I also love James, you know? He, he was a great person, I could totally tell that. Yeah. And um, when, uh, when you, but when you look at a showmance, which, and this is my first season ever watching Big Brother, and it was great, by the way. Um, and I can see why all of, all of you love it. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to go after a showman, it's because, what, you guys are tight. Yeah. You're, you're going to vote for each other and all that kind of stuff. And then you throw a sister in it, and you got a, it's like a triangle fortress, as you said. Yeah. How do you last that long? It's unfathomable. Yeah. And someone said, you know, James and I got together too late. I definitely agree about that. Definitely. And here's something that I've thought about too. Obviously, it's hindsight, but you know, Meg and I had a really good relationship early on, and we were very good social friends. But we never crossed into game talk till too late, too. That was an area that we should have. And one of the reasons was at a heavy time was when James was up in the HOH room. He was doing. He was crossing his arms, sitting there just listening a lot, and he wasn't really speaking his mind or sharing socially with people. Yeah. So you couldn't know where his head was at, except for the fact that he made big moves. We all knew that. He took out Shelly and Clay, and we knew that he wanted to make another one. Yeah. He, you know, America's favorite player wasn't a big stretch for him to try and get, and I'm sure he was aware of that. So he was dangerous at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you didn't know. Like, I'd want to, you know, Meg and James talked to me, and, like, James should have come up to when Meg was leaving and, like, tried to make some kind of deal with me and really done it. Because then when that double eviction surprised us, maybe things would have been different. But it's still, you just don't know who's going to win the next week. It's all just looking back, you know. Ultimately, we all had a fun time. You know, we, Meg and James were awesome. We we really, those are some of the best weeks hanging out with them for sure. Yeah, yeah, Swiffer. It's fun for Grandma. 
Let's see here. You know, imagine being Austin's friend. You get to see him as like this genuine kind of nice guy. Yeah, there was a a situation that happened going into the house that cast a shadow on the whole thing. But when you when you're watching everybody's opinions of him, and it just all blanketed in negativity, yeah. negativity, and you don't get to see the person for yeah. who they really are. It's shameful in a sense. The uh, by the way, if you're just joining, this is my friend Brian. He has worked out with me for about ten years now. Um, he supported me, watched the feeds, was all over this stuff online, uh, filled me in on everything, helped me decompress back into society. Uh, okay, someone asked, what was the hardest vote to cast? I think that's a good question. And honestly, there was a couple. I, Maximus the, is a cool name. Go what? Uh, toward, towards the end, I think the hardest one for me was probably the, the James one really was something I didn't want to do. Like, I didn't want to do it. And that was a tough one. Even the Jackie one was tough that week. I didn't want, I didn't, was so surprised that it was Meg and Jackie up on the block. I didn't know that was going to happen. I thought that was tough. Because uh, we had just started talking about the brass tacks, so it was like, damn, like we could have we could have put something together there. Crazy chameleon's a cool name too, by the way. Mm -hmm. On BB together, haha. -ha. Yeah, put Brian in that house. He won't last two days. Is that what they said? Or yeah, you no, said? they said that. Yeah, well, yeah. he said the same thing. No, I said it won't last two days. I said that. Yeah, I mean, the, my plan in the final week to deal with Vanessa, brass tacks. which I shared with him, was Steve should have literally went down. Well, I don't know if I should get into this. Oh, God. Yeah, but I literally, I, I couldn't stand Vanessa at that point, and I would have done anything dirty to try to get her out, uh, including going to production and asking them for some sort of medicine to help me sleep, and then I would have made her a nice cup of orange juice so that she would have fallen asleep during the final two competitions. I know it's terrible, but yeah, that's what she was doing. <laughs> what? What's the response? That's I'm funny. Even, I'm not even oh, no, no, okay, what well, past season would you have liked to play? And why? Well, Big Brother six or seven were my favorite seasons. I love that cast. I would love to play with those people, uh, just for fun. Are you going out with Liz? <laughs> what? They called you trash for some reason. That's all right. Okay, what are your thoughts on Clelly? Ooh, interesting question. Well, I loved Clay. Um, I always liked Shelly, and Shelly kind of had some, you know, issues with me when she got eliminated. And I, you know, I, I hope we've squashed that and we're friends. I haven't really talked to her too much, but I'm very supportive of them. Uh, I thought Clay was awesome to hang out with. He's fun to work out with, and I'm hoping to hang out with him more outside of the house anyway. So I'm rooting for them. Uh, let's see. Well, it was boring. Come on, guys. No, I'm not hating on Vanessa, guys. Look, Vanessa, yeah. Vanessa's hyper brilliant. I said that at the beginning of this whole thing. She yeah. impressed the living daylights out of me. She made every she right was move. Brilliant. Her mind was so keyed in, literally yeah. to like the matrix of everything that was going on in that house. So I'm. And the thing is, is Vanessa, if our, if Vanessa and I actually had a hundred percent trust. It's not a backpedal. I really said that throughout the season. She constantly was. Uh, amazing and excessively impressive yeah and I did write that quite a bit and then I would also blast her for things that she did that's how I am well, straight up no one's perfect in there and the thing is is that you know I feel like Vanessa you know made a lot of she always felt like she never had that she well she told me that she didn't have that number two for sure like you know Johnny Mac and Steve had their thing yeah where she really stand with that obviously I had Liz but if, if <laughs> Vanessa and I had that hundred percent trust really and it never wavered we could have done some major damage in there and been pretty pretty powerful, but um, and mainly because she won everything, which would have helped a lot. But you know, it was just what it is, and you just don't know what to trust in there. So I, you know, I had my doubts about her a lot, just like she had hers about me. And that answers the, the question yeah. previous: if you guys trusted each other 100, percent you would have went very far, and it's true. There Probably, was, uh, but that's a, that's always the problem in every season. Like, how can you find the people to trust 100 percent and not? Because uh, what are you going on in there except your intuition and gut? And those things get skewed big time as soon as you're in that house. You think everything's a twist. You don't know. Paranoia is what eats you up, and that's the name of the game. What are your thoughts of the girls controlling the guys? That one went by too quick. It was an interesting thought. I just couldn't read it. Um, I don't. Did that happen? I I, I don't. I couldn't read yeah. the full okay. thought. Yeah, write that again. Okay, Austin. Awesome. What was your favorite competition? Um, I hated competitions, man. Oh man. What are your uh, thoughts on the girls controlling the guys? I think my season? favorite was the Otev veto because I was fun. I felt like I was on double dare or something. Uh, it seems like the girls always told the guys what to do. What are your thoughts on the girls controlling the guys this season? I don't. That, that's her perspective. That I person. guess yeah. There was a lot of strong women in the house. There was like everyone was very complex. You know, I don't know how they edited everyone on the show, but I feel like everybody had layers to them. 
I could have really good conversations that were in depth and detailed about a variety of topics with everyone. And you hear from past seasons, oh, these people were one dimensional. There wasn't this person wasn't smart, that person wasn't smart. It seemed like everyone on our cast was intelligent and actually enjoyable to hang out with. The game just gets in the way of all that, obviously. We don't agree with the girls controlling. Well, like again, yeah. everyone's got equal opinion. Yeah, I don't know if they side. controlled, but they definitely were strong, which is not a bad thing. No, it's good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. The women were strong. Yes, they were. Definitely. Uh, let's see here. BB Takeover. The, the Takeover thing, I, I know, I think they stopped it after three weeks because the game was going so well on its own, they didn't need it. Uh, but that thing changed the game early because everyone got really paranoid on day two. And we're thinking, oh man, there's a takeover every week. We better hurry and hustle up and start game talk, game talk, game talk. And it just sped things up so much. Um, so I think it, it kind of messed with things early on. I think it definitely altered how people were eliminated early on and changed the shape and the course of the game. What is BB Scandal? You got to be specific. Yeah, about I, that I don't one. know what BB Scandal is, guys. I'm not, I don't I mean, follow there are several gate scandals, this and that, and you got to yeah. be specific. Block. I don't like Battle of the Block. I really don't. Four people get nominated every week. It's too much stress. Um, you did get fast forward. I did. Sorry. Everyone's a backdoor target, and you don't know who the real targets are. You don't trust anyone. It's. I guess it makes for good paranoia. Do I have a romantic plan for those? Yes, of course I do, but I can't tell you because it's a secret. Uh -huh. It's yeah. a good one, though. It's a good one. Um... There's no, actually, you know what? Production doesn't get involved in our gameplay. That's always been a conspiracy. But, like, honestly, every decision I made was my own. And um, that that's never, it's, it's a really, it's it's raw. The show is pretty raw. Oh, uh, BB Scandal's is drunk uh, Meg hitting on Clay that night. Oh, on the... I don't know anything about that. I just know that Meg thought it was hysterical. You might have to ask Meg she, that. She, she did appear drunk. That's all I could say. She's never drunk, though, because we had one glass of wine max. Or maybe two. But yeah, but she does weigh, like, 94 pounds, right? She can drink. Uh, phone booth power. No, I never figured out the phone booth power, personally. Who had the phone booth? Was it Dave? I don't know. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, they but, only did that once, right? Yeah, that was that second week. Who are the Bella Twins? They're wrestlers. Oh. They're very good. Um, let's see what else we got. Yeah, it was Dave on. Okay, yeah. All right, well, that was interesting. Are you going to... Jeez, <laughs> I shouldn't read these before. I... What did it say? Oh, nothing. Okay. Do I FaceTime Liz every night? Almost every night. I try. How many sisters do I have? Oh, I have four sisters. They're younger than me, but they're older than my brother who's 19, so they're all in that area. You can figure that out. So 30 to 19. Thoughts on Ariana Grande? I would love to go to one of her concerts. Hey, Frankie, what's up? Uh, let's see here. Are Megan James having a party in Texas? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Did you... Oh, my God. No, guys. My favorite food that Liz cooked. Ooh, her turkey burgers, obviously. Oh, my God. Thoughts on Liz's modeling pics? They're very attractive. Austin's always been into wrestling. The the one impressive mm -hmm. thing that he got out of it was started gymnastics two years ago. We met through training in the gym. I mean, I've always been all about, about natural bodybuilding, and he and I met in the gym. But he started taking gymnastics, and it was impressive watching in two years a six-foot-five guy do a standing backflip. To me, that was impressive. Um, I never got into the wrestling thing. I, I enjoyed it when I was very young. But um, it's not necessarily a, a, a source of entertainment that I like watching, per right. se. Right, yes, exactly. Well, I connect with them for different reasons. Mm -hmm. It's more upstairs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. You bet. Wow. Yeah. What's my salad recipe? Um, it's all in the, the, the dressing. And um, it's a lot of, it's a certain amount of oil to vinegar ratio. Garlic's got to be in there crushed up. And then... Sometimes I put some lemon, some orange. It's not that much actually, but it, it just if you do the right amounts, it gets the job done. My dad has one that's a little bit better than that, and I forget how it is. I got to get that from him. My Instagram and Snap. My Instagram's Judas Draven, and my Snap's Judas Devlin. I think I need to get a new one on that though. So stay tuned on that. Have you talked to you about what else she told Johnny Mac when she left? That's a good question because I actually want to know that. I forgot. Yeah. Um, well. On the way out, I, the the idea was is that on that Thursday, Julia was going to go to Johnny Mac and pull him into a room and tell him that he's um, that Vanessa played her and it was a play on us to ensure that if Johnny Mac won HOH he would go after Vanessa and not myself and Liz so Julia going out the door was of the opinion that she got played by Vanessa um, and she she made that move Brian go ahead yeah that's you know that's what she said but um, I didn't really help ultimately unfortunately
Johnny Mac was literally his own man. He was. Um, Bull Arena. That was an intense comp, guys. That was scary. Because that's when you just don't know what the hell's going on. I talked to Johnny Mac at the rap party, though, and uh, I made it clear to him that when he spoke with, um, <laughs> sorry, some of this, this question yeah. lit me up for a second. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I talked to Johnny Mac at the uh, rap party, and I asked him, I said that when he went to talk to Austin and Liz about, you know, joining up that last week, that I was just, had my fingers crossed that they would make that connection, that Austin would just grab him and say, let's do it. That would have been beautiful, but it didn't work out that way. I loved it. When Johnny Mac came to me with those crazy ideas, it was like so out of left field. He was so good at keeping us confused on where he stood. The fact that I never knew he was a super fan. I always had no idea what he was trying to do in the game. I mean, he was good at that. Who oh, is Austin? That's a good question. Who is Austin? You just answered that the other night in your class. I know, I did. I should. I did a lecture for a psychology professor and it was a very powerful thing. They were interviewing me, asking me very deep questions, and I told you know the whole class I was open book on everything. Uh, but who is Austin? Austin's a is a complex person. I don't know if uh, the Judas thing was necessarily meant to be some villain. It was more it was a wrestling thing, a character for sure. But the Judas thing is kind of was supposed to be like just me kind of doing some kind of manifestation of my own philosophical thoughts and um, how things aren't black and white things are gray and people shouldn't judge harshly on things or expect answers to be true and false. Sometimes the answer lies in the middle and I'm always seeking that answer and it's not easy. And that's a good point. You know, um, I can tell you who he is in a sense. No, oh God. No, I'm not going to. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know, when you're an intelligent human being and you, you don't, you're not into con being controlled and I know most all of us hate being controlled. Um, there's a lot of room in there for you to grow inside your own head and find and discover things on your own. And if you embrace that fully, uh, the world's an open wonder. And I know that sounds poetic, but it's true. You, you can take it any direction you want and do whatever you want. And there's a lot of that that goes on up in his head. Exactly. Uh, does Liz intellectually stimulate me? Oh, what a great question. That is a very good question. She actually definitely does. And the thing is, is that a lot of our discussions in the house were very intellectual and I haven't met someone that is she's very open to learning she's curious about things that a lot of people don't care about and I don't think people give her the credit about these things and we've talked we've talked about a lot of things that were very stimulating to talk about that because I like to talk about you know deeper subject material a lot you know I studied a lot of things and she was always curious to learn about it and then put her own two cents in and I'm you know every conversation we've had has always been great the girls are very smart, and they're also very. I mean, and, and I know, I know, it didn't appear that way on some of the sh on some of the shows because they would cut jokes and things that were made, and how silly and funny that they were. But uh, after meeting them, I can't tell you how hysterical they are and how insightful they yeah. are to the situations and surroundings that are going on around them at the time and picking up on people. It's like their family, their parents taught them really well mm -hmm. how to pay attention to a lot of different details. Yeah. They grew up in an Italian family. Um, I know it's hard for some people to swallow right. that because you watch them in the house and it's a game and everybody's trying to attack everybody, but... Yeah. Um, I heard from Scott Clifton since I've been in the house. He's a BB fan. Julia, Julia, no. Julia is smart and she's definitely not dumb. She is smart and she actually always asked me a lot of great... She asked everyone in the house really great questions. She's so good at like stimulating conversation with people and that's why I always say her social game was so important because She's the life of the party. She's a lot of fun. She's off the wall. She's off the, the wall. The stuff that comes out of her mouth, you'll be sitting there listening to her. It's and awesome. You never know what's going to come next, and it's hysterical. But when we were playing chess, she was the one killing me in chess, okay? So there's something to that. Uh, I can never beat her, especially when her and Liz teamed up. It was over. And I know people didn't... I, when I was reading the feeds, people would say that stuff about Julia. And when she left, mm -hmm. uh, I was pissed because I thought she was the most entertaining person to watch. She, she made me laugh all the time. You know, Julia did not really let Vanessa control her, but she trusted Vanessa, you know, uh, and that was the thing. Like, she always had a trust with Vanessa, and uh, do you blame her? I mean, Vanessa is really, you know, good at gaining people's trust with the things she says, and she was the only person, like, aggressively swearing on things in the house, too, and no one else was doing that, so whenever she was swearing on something, we just believed it, like, wow, no one else is doing this this much. She's clearly telling the truth. Um, so it was, it was easy to trust her sometimes. Uh... Again, like, you know, why did Julia tell Vanessa not me about the twin thing? 
girls. You know, she wanted to confide in Vanessa. You know, that was just the thing. She confided in her before she confided in me. Um, it's not, you know, it's just her prerogative. It was what she felt. Do yeah. I regret trusting Vanessa? No. It helped me for a long time. Till the end. Yeah, you know, guys. Then I, then I do. Vanessa was something else, and yeah. um, credit where credit's due, but. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think thank you. They're thanking me for talking to them. Is that saying you want me to leave now? Oh God, these questions. Uh, let's see here. I do have a Twitter and an Instagram. Yeah, what is it? It's Sposato B, right? Yeah. Sposato, S P O S A T O B. Uh, yes. Exactly. Okay. Right. <laughs> anyone, anyone know no about way. Brian? <laughs> I'm answering that one. Okay. Yeah, I Jimmy love the list in Twitter. Too. All those pictures are awesome. They Keep are cool. I like seeing them too. Actually. I like them. I always send them to Liz in case she doesn't send one to me first. Uh huh. Are you still in the dealt with WWE? No, I'm not. Thoughts on Clay and James fight? I asked him about that yeah, last night. The Clay and James fight was, I don't know how much that was played up on the show as a thing that mattered or altered votes. No, it was, just, it was just a. We had already in that day, we had told Clay, like the night before, there was this whole thing where we were going to flip it and make sure Clay left and not Shelly. And I had to go into the room with um, uh, the goblins and tell them, look, guys, don't yell at me, but me and the twins are going to vote Clay out. He wants that. And they were mad at first, but then they agreed, and they're like, okay, we'll do it. So the six of us, or the five of us, because James didn't have a vote that week, we agreed that we were going to vote out Clay. And then the fight happened after we had already solidified the vote. So it was just kind of bizarre, and I thought it made Vanessa a target um, that she wasn't before that. And... Um, that's when Becky pulled me and the girls into the have not room was like, hey, if I win the HOH, which she did, you guys are safe with me. Don't worry. I got another target. So it just kind of put more and more on Vanessa at that point. I felt it was a, it was a bad game move for her at that time. Um, but the fight was kind of like meaningless. I was just like surprised it happened. So, you know, I'm still confused about the whole details of it too. It was very. You talked to Steve. You talked to him last night. Yeah, I talked to Steve last night. And about something about his mom bullying him. You'd have to rewrite that question. No, well, me and Steve cleared up the air about anything between us. He was worried, you know, things I said, like how I really felt about him. And we're going to be really good friends. You know, that's pretty much the bottom line. Yes, it was funny. Okay. Please don't ever ever disappear from social media. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll try not to. The, the food fight throwing thing was Am I bi? absolutely I'm not hysterical. I am not by guys, okay. You Jesus. know, I, 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 no, but when I first met him, like at, at the gym, you know, he, he, he likes to make jokes make jokes and and they're not offensive jokes obviously they're more um, he, he doesn't care if yeah. you think that of him or not yeah I don't care yeah, it's hard to explain you have to be around it it's it's funny irony yeah I, and I have a lot of gay friends and Jason's gonna be one of those we've talked Steve's um, mom felt you bullied him yeah um, yeah I know we, actually I talked uh, to Steve's mom as well but uh, no Jason and I are gonna be friends uh, we've already had a lot of ta ta text back and forth it's cool Steve's mom did approach me about that, and you know, she asked me if I wanted to, you know, go ahead and start an anti-bullying thing with her. And I said I'm absolutely down. So if we end up doing that; it'd be a great thing. But um, you know, I never disliked Steve. Um, Steve, he annoyed me at times, but you know, he knew he annoyed everyone, and we've always talked about that. But by the end of the season, he grew on everyone, and we all loved him. And my speech when I left was from the heart. Steve left an extra element and chamber, so to yeah. speak, to the game. I mean, he was always the last guy up. He was always scampering literally mm -hmm. around the house he would talk to the cameras he did different things you know he had his thing his place in the house Nikki Pink Friday made the old skin video thank you that's my favorite video the one with me and Liz with the music yeah it literally made me emotional I love that and I that's hard to do yes that's really nice what about Liz voting for Jeff you want to answer that what Liz voting for Jeff oh yeah yeah I can answer that because here's the thing when and I wrote this on my discuss page during the season yeah you know someone said Liz didn't have a game and I said what are you talking about and I listed nine things her one of her first moves when she got to the house and you may not agree with this or think it's the greatest in the world but was to gain the likeness of guys because a she used her attraction to her benefit her flirtatious abilities and her personality in my in my mind that's smart she didn't go overboard with yeah. it but she was able to get protected by Jeff 
or Jace or whatever. I didn't watch mm -hmm. the first week as tightly as I should. And, that, and that's the thing. Like, and that was going to be her strategy early on was to have guys want to protect her, flirt with them, and not make it go any further than that. Probably, uh, and she was going to be good about that. And you know, with Jeff and me in the Thank six, you. in the uh, go 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 okay. go. No, with Jeff and me in the house, like. Because I wanted to work with Jeff in those first two weeks, but then you know the whole thing. I wasn't sure about what he was really trying to do with me. Clay was telling me he was telling me he was trying to come after me. He was trying to try to work with Liz and get me out of the picture. So when we had a chance to get him out, I wanted to take it. I was definitely afraid though when we got rid of him that maybe it was a mistake. Maybe he knew stuff I didn't know um, and that I should keep him around. But once he left, it, it really altered a lot of things and it, it, it paved the way for me to get closer to Liz on a game level, which ultimately led to more. But at the time, it was, you know, getting rid of Jeff was like a strictly a game move because I, I really thought he was a big threat to me being eliminated. Okay. Mm -hmm. But how did you... Oh, and with her voting for him. Well... How did you feel about that? How did you feel, you know, because people are asking... I don't like it. Um, I actually don't like that she did that because I went to bat really hard to get him out that week and I needed him to go. <laughs> and I really put a lot out there to get him to go. So I mean, That's honest. Do that. That's raw. Yeah. I was stressing for it hard and she saw that. <laughs> so yeah, it, it sucks, right? Uh, but fast forward four weeks, would she have done that? Hell no, because we were closer. Week three, we're still not that close. Her sister's still in the house. She needs to do whatever she needs to do for herself and her game. And at the time, if she felt Jeff was someone that was going to be an ally, yep. that's her prerogative. And I told um, him that. I had just had my buddy go week one. Who knew how long I was going to stay in the game? So, you know, it's just, it, it was her move at the time. She wanted to make it. And, you know, it was obviously a dumb move because he didn't stay. So, and part of Big Brother, what's so cool about it? And again, this is my first season ever watching it. But you, you know, it's a literal social experiment, and you you get to watch these people evolve and grow. Uh, hopefully, humanely, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. It's not like Lord of the Flies where you got to kill to survive, but in a sense, that's kind of a subtext to it. Yeah. And um, so, you things are going to ever change week to week as people are gone. But Liz needed that that hood of protection from some of these men. Look, if you're going into that house, you're insecure. Uh -huh. You're putting yourself on the line. You're going to be seen yeah. by, and ripped apart by the entire world. Think about it from a female standpoint. It takes courage. It, I can see that clearly. It takes courage, and I respect every single one of those Someone's house guests that went Austin on that show. Someone's saying Austin is Dan or Austin is Diane? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What's Diane my Instagram was cool. Again? Oh, it's B. It's Spazato B. S-P-O-S-A-T-O B. All right. Right? Yeah, okay. He's, I, that's the brain. I, I call it the pod. He's got a pod. He just remembers everything. Yeah, Liz is actually doing something with her family in the Keys. I don't think she's watching right now. Maybe she'll watch later. Uh, was a former player. Did you want? Wait, what former VB player did you want to be? I didn't want to be any former player. I was going to try to be my own thing. I would like to take elements of a lot of players. Uh, I love Doctor Will. I love Howie and his humor. Um, and I was going to try to blend a lot of things at once, but ultimately. You can't do any of that because as soon as you get in the game, you got to be yourself, and that's it. It's Hunger Games in real life with dual kings, with with what? I don't know. Are you close to your sisters? Yes. Do I think my game would have been different if no showmance? Of course, it would have been different. But who knows what that means? Hide and would seek, it, you know. Well, what that do was you fun. think? No, no. Answer uh, that. Do you think it would have been it would have been better or it would have been worse? I don't know. I under the circumstances, under the circumstances, I think it would have been worse because being with Liz and then Julia coming in the house, there was three of us and no one wanted to go against us. And if I was by myself, who knows? I thought his gameplay was great. And you know, uh, I know him, and I know he pissed a lot of people off in the beginning um, for the what did you call it? The sarcasm. And all these, the ways he comes off, and it's interpreted in its own way to the mm -hmm. people, and that's fair. You know, all's fair if you're putting yourself out there. But um, towards the end, I was seeing all of the connections. I know how good he is with people. Most everyone does like Austin. If you meet him in person, mm -hmm. you there's something about him that you like. He's just somebody that you trust and that you that Jeez. you that you like. So I knew that he, that would have an effect on everybody that was staying in the house. Um, as far as the Audrey meltdown, I mean that was hysterical when it was happening. But at the same time, you feel bad for her because the whole house went up to the HH room and agreed to get rid of her that week. And I was just thinking inside, this is terrible. Can we show them the picture of you in the blanket? Oh God, if you have it. I do. This is incredible. Yeah. No, go on. Um, no, I just thought it was such a bad move for Shelly and for our alliance at the time because that was what the whole house wanted. So why give them that? Why not always have that option available in the future? And I think we, I think, jumped the gun on it, and it almost cost me the game the very next week because of that. Because at the time, the house was so into, let's make this a group decision and have one target. 
because then there's no stress for anyone else. And as soon as that big target on Audrey left, it was time to find a new one. And then I just jumped in as the next potential one until I somehow got that to be flipped. And then Jason ended up going. Here it is. Um, let's see what else we got. Are you, are you bringing up a picture? Oh, God. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty funny, though. I don't, I don't know how, how. Just just hold it up there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Can you guys see this? Where he's wearing the um, Audrey yeah, they can costume. It. They it's can hilarious. See it. Oh, God. Okay, I'll get that away. Did, did I like Audrey? I did like Audrey. I actually really wanted to get to know her better and like work with her. And there was just such a veil up because she was playing the game so hard. Never really got to. Am I going to pick up Liz from the airport? You know it. Okay. Longest competition? Oh, it might have been that hide-and-go veto. We were out there for like five, six hours. Uh, will you do an Oz Twins cookbook? That would be fun. I'd like to do that. Spell his name slowly. S-P-O-S-A-T-O. Yeah, B, that. as in Brian. Uh huh. Uh huh. Am I in love with Liz? I've said that many times. Yes. Liz, with Give us a hint for what your surprise for Liz it will be. Without um, giving it away, can it be done? Liz, we w it will be mentioned at some point. It's something that she won't expect. She won't expect it. It's good. Um, uh, it's not just for her. It's for Julia as well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um, and we will probably talk about something. In relation to it on a future you now here we go um okay can you give her, them thoughts on steve's gameplay thoughts on steve's gameplay um that's a good question steve had a very interesting game very sneaky game uh and you know what i the first half of the seasons it's still a question mark to me like what he necessarily was doing the second half though he turned it up um, I, I don't know. I, I think there's a lot of circumstances involved around his game where he was, you know, he was not out there like Vanessa trying to control her own destiny. He would sit back, I think, more and let people make decisions. And, you know, he wouldn't put out information. He'd be, keep things to himself. And he, he was, was smart like that. He was smart and he could hold it in from us. And not everyone could do that. I couldn't do that. I wanted to talk about everything to everyone and it got me in trouble a lot. But he was really good at keeping things in doing what he told me on day two, which was he wanted to basically just blend in and be wallpaper for a while. Um, not He didn't really blend in. He stuck out for being different, but so did I. And he was able to play with that with me, and we were able to work on that together. Uh, let's in, see. In the beginning, did you tell Jace that you were not attracted to... To Liz? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was kind of being facetious, though, because look how hot she is. You know, I'm like, of course I'm not attracted to her. No, of course I was. Yeah, you tell the guy, nah. No, yeah. <laughs> you know, if, you're, if you're boys and you're hanging out by the pool, you say, nah, yeah. it's all you. Because if the guy's asking you first, yeah. it means he's interested, period. And he wants to see how you feel about it. So yeah. you just say no and do what you have to do. Steve was very sneaky, you're right. Um, but ultimately, you know, he, he played well. He did what he needed to do. He stuck with us when he needed to and took out Jackie. And then, you know, he made the move on the Ostwins when he took out, uh, tried to take out me, took out Julia. And it didn't hurt him. It didn't backfire. He made it to final two, so ultimately his game worked. Favorite poem for me is uh, "Stopping by the Woods on the Snowy Evening" by Robert Frost. Ooh. It's got a, it's got an amazing insight to it that most people don't get when you first read it. It's very, very dark. Uh huh. What's yours? My favorite poem? Yeah. Ooh. Um, I don't know. We're writing. They asked. My my favorite book. I tell everyone is "The Sheltering Sky" by Paul Bowles, who, which reads very poetically. The sheltering sky. Um, world sure. record on Warplay. The what? The world record on Warplay. Oh, Jesus, guys. <laughs> oh, world man. World Robert world. Frost, Hart, yeah. Are Becky and Johnny Mac a thing? I think you'd have to ask them. <laughs> Safe answer. Yeah. Your HRH speech was everything. Well, I'm glad someone understood it. Yeah, I'm glad someone understood it. <laughs> that sums up the guy, and it's very difficult to get in an estimation of what the guy is by that speech, but I loved it. I, I, I got it, mind. personally. I was out of my mind. Will you do a workout video? Of course, more to come on that. Check out my Instagram, check out my Twitter. We're definitely going to be putting some stuff out together here. Um, Never mind. Let's see here. Victims, aren't we all? Yes. CBS, CBS's editing sucked this year? I didn't say that. You just said that. Ooh, shit. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, We're aware that the feeds aren't edited. Jimmy Eat World 23! That's one of my favorite songs. How do you? That's an amazing song. I play that song a lot. Brittany QT is killing it. Um, what are your sisters' names? Oh, Allison 
do they want to be mentioned? Allison, Why Amy, not? Samantha. They're cool girls. Allison, yeah. Amy, Samantha is her name. Gabrielle and Dominique. They supported you. They showed they up to the round party. They were there. Uh huh. Where is Hector? Ha <laughs> ha. Hector Canales. He's probably out wrestling somewhere. He's the man. Okay. What's your favorite comp? Uh, yes, I yeah. said the Otev veto. Yeah. Shelly's punishment was extremely yeah, rough. Yeah, that sucked. It was brutal. Straight up. Feeds were gold this season. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Did you ever cry in the house? Almost a few times, but not really. Um, who's the other guy? That's Brian, my friend. We've worked out together. We're going to be doing some fitness stuff. on. Check us out for Twitter and Instagram coming up with more and more stuff in the future. We're going to bring in our friend Stan McQuay, who is a pro bodybuilder. Yeah, um, you can check out Stan McQuay as well. Yeah, he's going to be involved in this. Um, links That's to come on all this stuff, guys. Uh, are you are you parents going to meet Liz? Are my parents going to meet Liz? Uh, yes, they will. Uh, early morning meetings with Vanessa until she turned out. Oh, oh, she, she 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 really outed you for and twins until she couldn't anymore. You love freaks and geeks. I but yes, I don't. Okay. What are your thoughts on Vanessa after she evicted you? Oh, I was very angry, very upset, very hurt. It was it sucked, and I didn't think it was a smart move for her. And then, of course, I was stupid and said the wrong thing out the door, which only helped her game, that she couldn't win. I should have said, hey, if any of you take her to the final two, you're not winning. <laughs> if I wanted to hurt her. But, uh, yeah, I messed up there. But I was just stunned. I had to rewatch that to remember even what I and said. I, and so, so you know, as a, as a watcher, yeah. as a viewer, I was, I was watching it, and I honestly, up until the point she did it, didn't know... Um, when the feeds were down for the two days, yeah. I didn't know which way it was going to go. I was arguing back and forth on that disgust. Yeah. It, there were arguments for both sides, you know, who to get rid of, mm -hmm. Steve or, or, what, or whatever. The point is, um, when he got out, I asked him, you know, how did she convince you that you weren't in danger? Because how did you not sense that or pick uh, that up? Oh, I definitely had it in the back of my mind, always. But I try to shut that up because you can at that point. I'm up there on the block. It's happening. I just have to trust some things at some point in the game. And I was over it. I didn't want to be paranoid anymore. I didn't want to think about it anymore. It was killing me inside. And when we talked earlier in the week, she promised me. She swore on this, this, and that. That was the first time she ever swore to me like that. And then we shook hands. And I was like, okay, this is definitely real now. We're finally past all the crap. We're going to work together. We're going to do this. We laid out the scenarios. And I really thought the logical argument, it was better for her to be with Liz and I than with Johnny Mac and Steve going forward based on loyalties and stuff. And I didn't know about what she and Steve may have had or not. And I just saw them fight a couple weeks ago, so I thought I was going to be safe. And she was smiling and happy. And every time she was doing something against me in the past, I could read it on her face. This is the first time I couldn't read it. So yeah, she got me. Yeah, so they, they were talking upstairs before he we went We were talking down, 10 minutes before Julie called us. Studying for we, the future yeah, we were days, studying the and HOH. she held it. She sold it. She sold it. We were studying for the HOH 10 minutes before the eviction, and then I went downstairs and I had no shoes on because we were going to go play HOH, and I don't like to, if I don't have to wear shoes in a comp, I feel more relaxed. I think it's a gymnastics thing. She um, really thought a lot of you twins, though, Austin, she was loyal most of the game. Yeah, most of the game doesn't count, unless you're playing horseshoes. Um, but, yeah, no, I guess she, I, I hope she does still because I want to be friends with her, so, yeah. Um, what do I think of Caleb? Um, he did some cool backflips. I need to see how he did that on that hard ground. That was impressive. I, I don't think Vanessa. The thing that got me about Vanessa, and with respect to her game, once again, I'm not. I'm not going to bash Vanessa. Um, but when you're telling people from week one that you're not a liar, that you're a good person, and then um, you a day later do something that that isn't in regards yeah. to that it makes me wonder it's like if I just met walked up to any one of you in the street and you said hi my name is Brian I'm not an evil person yeah you would right away think oh this boom nice meeting you later bro and that was my big thing with her like I didn't get why people didn't seem to pick up on that but they did we just didn't know about it exactly so you know it is what it is there you go with that line which one it is what it is it is what it is yeah it's Big Brother. It is. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you. Okay. Well, Coach, I think, you know, it's almost time to wrap it up. Um, we've been doing this for over an hour now. It's been fun. People had a lot of questions. Is there any final thoughts you want to say? I understand this is how you play, play Big Brother. I'm not, I'm not opposed mm -hmm. to, to, to the evil dick. I, I'm aware of some of these kind of things, but... No, you're right. I'm not a super fan, and I'm not a pro, and I, I never, I never profess to be. I'm just 
making making a claim. And again, I did say that her game, that she's hyper intelligent. And she is flat out. There you go. Um, in regards to your bodybuilding friend that you said as a competition, who is that? We didn't get that. Oh, oh, Scott Clifton. He's a good friend of mine. I haven't talked to him in a while. Um, oh, I need. I guess if he was watching the show, I definitely need to talk to him. I'll I'll, I'll message him. Um, yeah. Okay. Well. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. It's been fun. We're going to do another one of these for sure. Uh, Brian will be back. Yeah, thanks for ones. listening to, to my business, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. We're going to do one um, next week, I think, with the twins at some point. Maybe special guest with that as well. Stay tuned. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this has been fun. Thanks, guys. And we're going to sign off. All right, say goodbye. Bye, guys. Thanks a lot. All right. Wow. Yes.